nature-loving couple runs for help, hears whispers in the trees. What started as a usual walk in nature enjoying the fresh air and greenery for Spencer Drayden and his girlfriend, Cleo Jackson, soon turned into a rescue mission that would turn their worlds upside down. The couple were admiring the beautiful landscape of U Oz American Fork Canyon and clearing their minds from the noise of the big city when the sound of chirping birds was suddenly silenced with muffled screams coming from a tree. What was calling for them from the trees? You'll probably be as shocked as the couple was. At first terrified of the noise they heard, the couple decided to follow the provenance of screaming. Spencer and Cleo found a small car hidden between thick trees and wild vegetation, and to their greatest surprise, the car wasn't empty. The 29-year-old Heather Blackwelder was trapped inside her crashed car, according to the reports of KSL. As you can safely guess, Heather was in a critical state. The young woman was suffering from injuries so severe that Spencer called her being alive a pure living miracle. She was crushed by all the steel of her car, bleeding from more than one wound. It was a miracle she could even call for help in such condition. How did she get in that situation, you may ask? Well, you'll find out soon enough. Two days before she was found, Heather was driving on the canyon road, enjoying the view herself, when her car went through the guardrail and plunged several hundred feet down the side of the mountain. Her fall was so bad that it should have been instant death. No one survives a fall as grave as hers, but life wanted to hold on to her. Heather was saved and sustained just in time for someone to come to her rescue. As life would have it, her rescue was none other than Spencer and his girlfriend Cleo who had the good heart to follow her screams through the woods. Decidedly, life couldn't just let go of her. The day of her unfortunate accident, Heather was completely on her own. She was trapped in a mess of steel, losing a lot of blood. Her hours were numbered and had the couple not come to her rescue when they did, they could have been her last. The odd thing is that even though the young woman had been missing for two whole days, nobody reported her missing, which is why no one came looking for her earlier. Thankfully, the nature-loving couple were there at the right time. When Spencer and Cleo found her, he decided to stay with her while his girlfriend ran to Mutual Dell to call for help as fast as she could. Luckily, personnel from Utah County Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue, Lone Peak Fire Department, and Life Flight all responded after the call was made. They were all stunned at the condition Heather was in, given the fact that she'd been stuck there for quite some time, after what could have been a deadly fall. From the distance of where the road was, and the condition that the car was in, it just, it seemed like she should have been way more injured than that Spencer Drayden told Fox 13. She wasn't punctured at all by any of the metal in the car or anything like that. She just had what I believe to be bones that were broken from being tumbled around. In addition to her injuries, Heather had two broken ankles, her sternum was fractured, and both her back and neck were broken. The woman was flown to Utah Valley Regional Medical Center urgently. The doctors told her that her injuries could turn her into a quadriplegic, at the very least, a paraplegic. Heather wasn't going to be able to walk again, and even if she did, it might take years to regain normal walking. Were they right? That's what we will know in few. Despite all the odds that weren't in her favor, Heather is actually back on her feet and was able to go back to her normal life. She is working and conducts her daily matters in a normal way, Heather says that her survival and recovery are miracles. She is most grateful to Spencer and Cleo for finding her in time and to God for putting this couple on a path. The doctors who worked on her neck and her feet were amazed at how well everything went back together, said Bonnie McMullen, Heather Blackwelder's mom. One time in the hospital, while she was sleeping, they stood there, amazed that her neck healed so miraculously. She continues, had somebody not found her today or the next day or so she would have died, Sergeant. Spencer Cannon with the Utah County Sheriff's Office said in a statement, it could literally have been years before she was found. The area is not a hiking trail, it's not a llama trail, it has thick trees and is on the side of the mountain. The car could have been well rusted before she was found, he continued. Miracles happen every day and even for those who don't believe in God's mysterious ways, Heather's story is surely a great evidence that miracles exist, and only the lucky ones can witness their greatness.